On October 14, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Oh god, it's a fixed forces scenario, isn't it? Then Duke William in. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. But won't work because it's a shield wall. I even get him in. <laughs> Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Is there hill bonus in this game? I feel like there's no hill bonus. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. Kill the Saxons from the ship. I think it's back over here. I'm in a really bad position. Can I have my rest of my units? I think I'm using Spearman against Militia. I'm pretty sure the Militia are all just like AOE2's Militia. So this is basically... Uh... Or a watch. rows of Spearmen to push back the invaders. But William had an answer. Oh god, you're in a bad spot, William. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. It's actually moving his back a little bit. Five leader. Oh, okay, so even if my leader falls, he could be revived. Oh god. <laughs> Kinda of stuck in between like five million uh spheres, isn't it? I'm not really seeing what the skill is here though. I'm just following objectives. More Norman men at arms reinforced William's army. Do with on his back for a minute here. There we go. Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. Come on, let me have First, it. First, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen. Okay, so the sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Or you can know you can just send the cavalry around. Yeah, this is just an extended uh, watch and play <laughs> type of scenario. Oh my god, just let me have the damn cavalry so I can go and kill the rest of the units. It looks epic. I can't take that away from it at the moment. But there's no challenge to this mission currently. It's just literally get units, patrol them in, 
I'm hoping for the The threat of spearmen cleared from the field. William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized, and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and oh, Richard is King Harold himself. Play King Harold. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. I'd be the worst uh, soldier in this time. I'd be like, nah, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I serve a new king now. <laughs> I just send all to him. Wow, he doesn't take any damage from arrows pretty much. Okay, that's a thing. What's his really armor like then? Oh, it has 5 and 5, okay. And these do 6 damage, makes sense. Okay, we have to use Duke William against him. An old fashioned duel. Oh, wow, he just died then, okay, never mind. The Anglo Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. That would be me. <laughs> From a cinematic perspective, the last of the Anglo Saxon campaign fled for their lives. Start is very good. From a gameplay the perspective, victory over the English no challenge whatsoever. But William's quest to rule England was just beginning. I guess this is, it could be seen as an equivalent to like Joan of Arc's campaign, where it's the first couple of missions really isn't much of a challenge to it. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel held city of York. I but in his path stood rebel to towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. Middle Maybe even part of that place. Oh, got this little sheep chasing him. Oh, I think a couple of militia are going to do the thing. Uh, looks like horses do with basically everything they have. Oh, I think those little scouts is one of the most scout ones. Oh, That's what I'm building things now. Oh, the villagers. The town of Middlefort, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Oh, that's an intrusive saving game. And they're speaking French, right? Because they're Norman. Capere, 
Also, what they're making me make bombs on this pub like a deer to me. I don't have a scout alive still. Okay. Scout around everywhere. Need one additional health. Oh. Well, rip you. Run, sheep, run. Don't let them take you. Oh wow, you can't even capture it with the uh, long with the military units. Interesting. Uh, I'm so used to having my farm set up. And it's different in this game. It'd be nice to be able to customize that a little bit more. I think that's everyone's kind of biggest gripe with this game so far is the lack of customization things such as hotkeys and such. I only wanted one of them before. Okay. The Norman Get army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Nice. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. They're long boys. Oh, I keep forgetting that it's I've got them reversed. Oh, God. I'm not sure what the uh, purpose is of having it uh, be different to other AoE games was in terms of the control and shit flick. It's like a slightly weird thing to have them first. I'm sure there must be a reason though, surely. Still nice bear. Feels weird to still be in the Dark Age when it's 1060 something. 1069 I think they said. That's one of the risks of having it set up as a more historical thing. Is that it needs to learn. Kind of reflect the historical time a little bit more, I think. They don't have access to rams yet. <laughs> Luckily, they're just palisades. Kill fast. Well, we could have gone through the easy way. One to them. Yeah, but it's in the water. I really wish I could turn those tool tips off. <laughs> They're not giving me life. I lost so many horsemen on that, that's so bad. Rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. I hate this. I, I need to say there's another way of turning that off. 
so intrusive. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Uh, I need to check if I've got eco upgrades or if I can get eco upgrades. Dilla would be nice. Those would also be nice. I need to get more on gold. Util age. So we just need more gold. Uh, I think I'll put more on farms. Let's build that one. Not sure if they drop off the resources they were holding. Let's see. So. No, okay, so they, oh, they don't drop. Oh, okay, they do drop off. Okay, cool, that's good. I like that they kept that. I think we're going to be basically making horsemen anyway, I want a lot of uh, resources that mana. Uh, that could be really handy. And I can build a stable the next stage. Okay, I'll get rid of that one. And then I want horticulture, I think. So I'm going to be mostly using food for the horsemen. I think it's like a tiny bit of wood as well. The gold is just for upgrades. Oh, it's in feudal age anyway, I can't get it yet. They built it with more villages. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. They yeah, look happy. <laughs> held back the Danes attack but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold optional stop the Danish raid honestly I'd probably give them gold <laughs> They get extra units anyway. <laughs> Who even cares about training more? The game is gonna do it for me. I get a blacksmith. Yeah. Okay, now 200 pop thing. These stables seem to take a long time to build. Je suis votre serveuse. Parade, c'est... Parade pour la 
There's something that you can all, like, technologies take forever to research. Uh, let's get that as well. Uh, probably gold. Then we can maybe get that as well. We're floating res. You know what? We don't need to pay any ransom. Come pay them a visit. See how much they actually have. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it. Or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. And then that's happening. Pull them away from that. Go down pretty fast. Uh, hate not having go to hot keys for the blacksmith and everything else. I think it's the worst though for those sorts of units though. Uh, buildings even. You don't want to go to them too often. You just want to go to them every now and then. These have like high armor, alright? Yeah, that's why they're doing nothing to them. I'm not sure if this is worth it, but I kind of wanted to see if it does anything to the mission. Honestly, killing buildings feels so much less rewarding as any sip that isn't Mongols from what I've seen. Uh, and now we build a few barracks, I guess. Okay. Oh, I don't build a barracks? Oh, it's D. Oh, we get some treasure. the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a Oh, is that it? Oh my god, it's saving feature. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Pretty sure that one's what gives me access to building rams and such. Oh, we can actually uh, get these as well. It was weird being able to see this, but not have any sort of uh, proper scouting information. Okay, so I have everything but inventory now. Oops. It's fine. I swear they're saying Bene, like, uh... Italian goods. It's very awkward in terms of what you can see and can't see. 
Get a few rams going. I'm barely using Oh. That's actually quite a few army, like quite a bit of army there. So I like the decision to make it so that you can see the little the stars on the map. But not actually see anything there. Just send these as a reinforcing group. But there's why I just think it's easy just to select all and patrol most of the time. I don't think this is a game where micro for the most part is gonna be valued. There'll be like a couple of times where I'd be valued, but for the most part, not so much. Okay. Oh, there's some palace I guess. I thought it was going to be something a bit more. That's why I made these rams. I guess they still absorb a lot of damage though. Reach the gates, destroy everything. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. I hope some of the other missions are a little trickier. This so far has been very easy. I understand they probably don't want to make it too difficult to not alienate people. These missions so far have all been very, very easy. Like, that's not enough army to stop this. <laughs> the most annoying thing though is I can't go and select all of my uh, stables easily. I have to use the F buttons and then I have can't just select stables, I have to select all of my military buildings at once. The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. I think from a cinematic perspective again, this is fantastic. Challenge-wise, currently like a 1, if not a 0. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city, and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. That was the most pathetic cavalry charge I've ever seen. I'm gonna see if I can disable the auto save.
Can I not disable the autosave thingy? God damn it. Okay, so he gets a different bonus. There's some sort of hot spell there. Charge extra. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayo, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Oh shit. Don't have the palings this time. So they can be uh, deployed. Midway through a fight. These things seem broken. <laughs> I wonder if that's a regular thing. But I remember seeing them in the beta before. English approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. These things are actually just insane, they're just doing so much DPS. Obviously not doing so great against the armored unit. I haven't quite worked out how the armor piercing mechanics work in this game, Mr. Joe. Run for your lives. Keep wondering why that's a military term. I to cross. Oh, okay, looks like we have to cross over here. Really wish there was more challenge to these scenarios so far. I think it actually makes more sense to have these in the front and use the paling. So they automatically do it. That kind of ruins the fun, doesn't it? The knights are asleep. Almost all of my vehement now. Both have to replenish them pretty quick, and if not, I have the failings still to deal with cavalry charges. Just be killing buildings is a bit slower. Really wish I could dodge arrows though. Not even that much of a micro-orientated person. I just like having the option to do so. Yeah, I think we just ignore this outpost. Take as minimal damage as possible. Yeah, yeah, we 
I have a single spear on left. Hopefully there's no or minimal lights there. I think archers are just the French version of longbowmen, essentially then. They look very similar. Lower range, low Oh, nope, same range. Everything's the same, basically. Henry now calls for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. That's not what I want to... What's our space day? Grand day new. Grand day new. I'm your work. I kind of like that. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd already queued that well. What's our space day? Uh, but the farm. Wait, the farm was on. A different key before. Now I'm just confused. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Oh, we need gold as well. That's that setting some now. Take a little while to get the. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayer would not go unanswered, and now his forces brace for an attack by Robert's army. Resources. Are... You meant to build. Oh, come on. Yeah, I need a little. Which I get rid of the top I know what I need to do. <laughs> Feels like they almost just uh, are treating the player as being stupid, as opposed to being beginner friendly to some level. I have no idea if it's possible to get rid of those taunts, but so far it does not seem possible. Henry repelled the attack. But he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. They have one of everything. Well, at least tell stop that from popping up every three seconds. What's the Oh, it's like one hour. Oh, it's the outpost. I'm gonna kill it with these now. Look at me getting the hill as if it's gonna matter here. I'm not sure why it comes up with an ally under attack, that really bugs me. Get the gold mining pick, oh fuck. Thanks for me. I just want to get rid of the damn outpost. I need way more units. There was way more villages working. That's on fire anyway, so I'll go down on the side of cord now. Uh, melee damage? Melee armor. 
kind of want more range damage, but I'm guessing that was from the other one. I also don't know how to quickly deselect that. Other than just building something. Definitely need more food. Okay, and then once we've got those going, I don't need as much gold anymore. So we can put these all on woods. And then we need to make sure we get some rams going. The game really does treat you as if that you have never played an RTS before. I don't think, maybe it's just me, but I don't think most of the people are going to be playing this are going to be uh, completely new RTS anyway. I get some new people. Oh. I just wish it was an option to have all those extra tool tips coming up every three seconds. Do with a couple more spears, I guess, as well. And we'll get out as well. Let's see if we get a little more wood. I do have the wood upgrades, right? Yeah, just coming in pretty slow. I don't think the other units. Oh, it's just cavalry. Okay. Another round would be good. Thing. Uh, I want another one of these. So after that, she can build a farm. Wish you could see where you shift cubed the villagers. There's no little uh, flag to show that that's where they can shift cube next. Oh my god, that saving is With the power of so annoying. Arms, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. Oh fuck. Okay, so if you select that with the units on the side, they will just automatically on garrison, that's good to know. Oh, 
There's another bar. This, come on, why can't you find the path? Three rams trying to kill this. Wait, is he attacking on the wall? <laughs> I can tell it was downhill though. Maybe it was off the hill. Attack whilst they can. Holy shit, that's boring. At least this one's giving me a little bit more challenge. Not much, but a little bit. Bayer's walls have failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayon, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. Doesn't seem to have much use for gold wool at the time. Um, not enough units there. Yeah. This is basic, like, the amount of armor the heroes have is kind of ridiculous. Heal up a little bit. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna need... Uh, any more spear when looking at this. Kind of T90 farming it though, a little bit. I repair this. Guessing Vils might be able to. Feels weird though to construct them with military units and then not be able to repair them with those same military units. Need way more ranges. Do farms expire? Play like infinite kind of like AOM. No, they do expire, okay. Wow, they only have 120 food in them? Holy crap, that's not great. Okay, <laughs> right, now that thing that we can go in. Uh, next wave. Run. I don't really care about King Henry because he can just be revived over and over and over again. 
definitely feels like you're gonna be somewhat cheesable in that kind of block but I need to send the hero in. And you're happy. Chamber of Commerce. Don't know if we're too worried about that. They are. Wave number five, please. I'm guessing kill the town center. Win. So you need to kill quite a few more buildings than that. Oh, holy crap, they're getting eaten. Leaving my hero to die a little bit here. Just kill it. No, he's just back straight away. I need to pull back though. Need way more units. At least I should better get this before they could die. Maybe not. Uh, select all military. Oh, am I still sending them into that death? I'm just still sending them into that death. That's why I'm not getting any reinforcements because I'm sending them to that death. <laughs> I want to unselect this. Why can't I unselect that? Okay, start building some more ramps, please. There's no hotkey for that. Surely there should be a hotkey for that. Archers honestly feel kinda underwhelming. But they do in most games to me, so not much of a surprise though. Definitely making this more difficult than it should have been though. Another big force together. Not giving myself enough wood. The whole wall thingy though with the elevation and the units not taking as much damage on the walls can be very frustrating in terms of how campy it is. I think I needed a few more builds on wood and new wood line. So it's not my camps even. Okay, put these forwards. Which had slightly more clear objectives. Like, yes, you want to destroy the buildings and the defenders, but. How many do I have to destroy? What buildings are important to kill? It's not very obvious. I'm guessing you try and destroy the more important ones. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like we've almost got enough buildings already. Okay, these are super strong. They're so tanky. Got a pam so they can heal as they fight. against archers plus five it's not actually that much considering how much hp they have and how low attack uh the unit has at base then group number five in Honestly, the metal arms feel better against the archers than the cavalry do, just because of how much the metal arms tank. Okay, now I just feel like the mission should be over, but we're going to go and get the defenders as well. I don't actually find the defenders. It's like a game of hide and seek. I do love the way that the building destruction looks though. Very satisfying. These have four armor and this is seven attacks, so it only takes three damage, whereas these have one range armor, so they take so much damage at range. Guessing that's the last group. There we go. I was just going to destroy like a major building in you one. As Bayo burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Victor. That one was quite enjoyable. I think it did bring a little bit more challenge. It still wasn't necessarily difficult. Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebray. But the direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fresnes. Uh, like there we go. Okay, he's a scout to get the call. To goad Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
There's some gold down here, I'm pretty sure, as well. I missed it last time. Is that a priest? Oh. I did nothing. It sounds like they're saying on guard the noob. Okay, so that was seven hundred gold. The village of Martigny was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fren. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebray. Henry sent gold to his ally in men and received fresh reinforcements. That is the army. Mm. like this. Do they get bonus against I don't think they need any bonus to be honest though. How much damage they do. You're not even healthy. They have such a high base attack that you don't need a bonus against them. But the spearmen are kinda of struggling against even the knights. They are so tanky. By eliminating Robert's incoming army, Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt at strengthening the castle's defences. Yeah. Didn't I get anything else? I was just drawing the other style points. The thing I'm missing most here is a score. As sad as it might sound to some people, just like in AV2, AV3, it's so satisfying seeing how much your score goes up. Uh, when you destroy certain things, kill certain buildings, etc. And obviously researching and getting a boom going, for example. I think it just, it helps mark your progress. The best way of putting it. Archers don't even tickle knights, it's just kind of ridiculous. I'm guessing that's why they have crossbowmen, but I haven't seen crossbowmen in this campaign yet. Alright, let's so get that next group in. Henry sent gold to his ally in Brittany, and in return, a detachment arrived to bolster his numbers. 
And that's a fucked up to get my army. army. The village of Fren was in ruins. I think what I want to do is Henry's provocations had paid off. Get these kind of towards the front initially. To face get those tailings in. Battle. Oh, there's actually more gold. Is it better to fight them at a choke point, I wonder? Uh, I've got a lot of cavalry, I think it's better to fight them open. I've got more archers, let's go for more archers. Henry's ally in Bayer sent reinforcements in exchange for gold. Okay, it's not sunny then, yeah. Absolutely clapped. But I wish I had crossbowmen here. Try and pull them back a little bit. Oh, half my army's still not even in. Ah, oh, he's gonna. This feels kind of dumb. Best way I can put this right now. I feel like I'm doing anything wrong. Horsemen better at dealing with the archers than knights. I feel like the knights should just still be straight up better. I'll just keep hiding them from here. <laughs> okay, AI is having a moment. Yeah, it looks like we've 
one either way. Need to get him back. Okay, never mind. Don't even need to get him back to win. Archer's OP? <laughs> King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked. Henry captured his brother, and Normandy was his. Interesting. I think the mission was difficult as much as it was just a little bit awkward to finish it off. disputed countryside between Normandy and France, a smouldering farmstead gave away the beginnings of a French invasion. At the head of the vast army stood King Louis of France himself. An English scout hastily rode to inform King Henry of England, who was still en route to defend his borders. Hearing of the threat, Villagers and guards fled their English-held towns and retreated to the stronghold of Fleury. Okay, so fire this town. Yes. Okay, so here's what we're English forces in Normandy had been commanded to hold the town of Fleury and await King Henry's arrival. Another 2C. There's only one 2C. Why is it in between the two? That's so unofficial. That's gonna get annoying, isn't it? I won't make any upgrades in these ones. Upgrades in these guys? Okay, I need more stone As the village well. of Crescenville fell, all English hopes lay in holding Fleury for the king's oh, arrival. That died really fast. I guess we just send these. To not be here really quick as well. I think they're just scouts still. I'm guessing I'm gonna need to capture these back later as well. Uh, crossbows might be well. Oh, I'm not in the car slate, so I can't even do that. Stone, let's get the upgrades we need to go. But they give me a little bit longer with this town still alive. Oh, I don't have any other farms. I need to make a new mill. I do have a mill. That's probably, yeah. I wish I could set this up so that it has a consistent uh, hotkey for everything. So far, not feeling it. There are select all items in the village, okay? There is, I haven't found it yet. Okay, we can start getting these, so that was an extra health, five armor to the outpost. I think it's time to start getting those ones. Uh, try and get a few uh, more archers. I think the meta arms are going to be quite useful here as well. I 
don't think the cavalry is going to be too useful. Yeah, try and get all three of these upgraded. Uh, this one can farm. Oh, I never got these upgrades. Uh, let's get that. Oh no, I had a village of them. Succumb to the French, and the English were pushed back towards Fleury. Better run. I need Castle Edge. How possible is it to get a Castle Edge, I wonder? 1200, yeah, it's not happening. Oh good, get the cavalry back in, get the cavalry back in. I'm oh, feeling too optimistic about this. British and British villagers get like a... They're better at attacking when you can blow us on the game. But where's the leader? I was disabled for this. At King last, Henry arrived. Henry and his forces made their arrival at Lazy bastard. This is going to be about pushing them back, I imagine. Knowing that King Louis himself was on the field, Henry saw his chance to put England's claim to Normandy beyond doubt. I to catch up fights towns, but... Do with the yes, town center as well. Long winding road. Uh, I don't think I want to make too many more military, so I want to click up to the next age. Oh, it's 400. I thought it was 300 stone. It's quite expensive for a town center. Uh, keep making villages, but do you want to think focus on looking up? Oh, can you imagine controlling your units? I think patrol is an option though, either. Still attacking that. Oh, there's the one damage per attack scout is gonna do it. A lot of the, def the initial defense is gonna be a little trickier than it ended up being, so I invested really heavily into those things. Uh, I have to hold the leads? Oh. Third trade. King Louis, determined to oust the English from Normandy, 
began sending attack parties to harass King Henry and his forces. Okay, it's not picking up. King Henry's men struck at the French forces and recaptured the town. I'll play some of the TC over here, I guess. So we want steel our I just want everything, all the things. Uh, I want to get rid of this house. It's right in the middle of prime farming. Thanks. Need to figure out the hotkey. I have to select each time. <laughs> I still have that one scout, that's annoying. Okay. Oh fuck. It's always when I get distracted by something else. I don't know the TC here. Put armor on these. Battering rounds, that's cool. Let's see if we can get a knight out real quick to help out. Oh fuck, that's a lot of army. Well, I was expecting every this amount of army. Building a TC just so I can get destroyed straight away. Basically, what's happening right now. I guess it delays this though. Oh, are you kidding me? Almost finished. Oh well. Okay, I need to uh, sort of put military type base out here. Oh my god. I'm not getting along with these hockeys. Find the slightest. Try at least get rid of all of these. I don't know how much I get back on that, but looks like something came back at least. I 
need lots of army. Bit of everything. I love how I captured it and now it's just completely gone. Luckily I have the economy to replace this. Keep forgetting to the upgrades, I can't select them. Uh, select the buildings easily. Everything. Everything feels like it takes forever to research as well. Well, since waiting the raid to be quite as intense, but I'm not complaining, it's a nice little bit of a challenge. It's honestly just becoming easier just to select individually. Oh boy, I knew it was coming. Do I have enough army to defend this? Probably not just yet. The F2, F3, F1, all military buildings. If you just select each individual one, well that's okay. That might take forever to build, holy shit. And now at least we got those firing on it. Advance. We might build another keep. Damn, rams just don't die. <laughs> F1 is the one I'm thinking of. They, they have zero melee armor, I think. And yet... Feels like my units aren't doing enough damage to it somehow. Um, not producing villages for ages then. It's like alt is just not a thing that you can rotate camera. So many of these things feel super foreign to me. Oh, that would have actually been nice to get a little bit sooner, to be honest. Okay, let's put it back over here. Okay, attack moves that. Place a key. Oh, 
Meister? It is Sita for actors. It's Libe to hear them. And I kind of want to add some siege once I've got to that second area. It's like lots of bullets. I'm rescue him at least. Missing anything that could be helpful as well. Crossbowmen get any bonus damages? Uh, crossbowmen in general get bonus. They get plus 21 versus armor, but classified. What is classified as armor flow? Is the big thing for me. Yeah, I should be able to go and recapture that. Get a few spring olds here. Oh, I keep selecting alt. No, I'm super confused with the hotkeys. I have way too much food. We can sell some though. Wait, can I only sell a hundred at a time? That's so annoying. Do they have like a proper town up here now? How long it took me to uh, arrive here? Back a little bit. The crossbow are just basically better. Longbowman. That's what I'm getting out of this. The do cost gold, what's the range difference? Four. There's like a tiny bit more range. Longbows to make sense. But... Oh no, the Rams are actually gonna kill everything that I just captured. With the border towns we captured, King Henry's claim to Normandy faced only one more obstacle King Louis and his army. In the humble peasants' fields of Brenu, two kings would settle their claim to Normandy. Um, 
Let's just quickly do this. I wanna buy another key. No way we can keep up at this area alive bit more easily. Oh, it's a thousand. I thought it was eight hundred. Jeez. The castles are definitely suffered from inflation. Uh, that's why I want to keep up now. Build fast. They can convert, right? That's a no. Okay. This is taking its time to be built. Uh, let's try and get those spring olds from here. Yeah. They're gonna take a while to get that, aren't they? Back move lowers. Where's the technology thingy? That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> awesome, that's the one I need. Okay. I imagine this would be solved with hotkey customization. I hate to harp on about it. But it's such a crucial part of RTS. They glitched. <laughs> they look so glitched. I want them to come to me, but I don't think that's going to happen. Wait for those to get in range. Then I just play protect the siege. Because those siege weapons are so strong. Do you realize how many upgrades I was missing into this then? Maybe we could even, wait. Can't use control and get to the mark because there's no go to hotkey. Get another forward one. Place this here. I don't really want to redo this mission, but I think it was right the first time. Maybe start pushing it now. That's halfway on the way. I just find it unclear to know where to get each uh, upgrade from, honestly. We have blacksmith and an arsenal. That's a lot of cow. This is gonna be ugly. I need to bring them back a bit further. Alright, put them back in. Huh? 
This doesn't feel like it's going too well, honestly. Holy moly, that's a little army. Not great, not great. The issue is trying to select what buildings to build shit out of is actual nightmare for you all. Oh, they actually backed off, okay. They even left quite a few of my catapult units alive. And the keep from here will build some more knights. I mean, at least this one has a bit more challenge to it, even if, uh... This army seems to be getting back. Oh my god, it actually... Is it healing? Nah, that was a little way more cav before. Why upgrades take forever and a day to research? Okay, we actually got back to pop cap really quickly though. Hey, Hopefully, this will be the last fight. I'm using a lot of crappy horsemen though. I've got a lot less arch than I did before. Thanks forever for the obvious get from here to here. Do I just delete these buildings? It seems there's such a waste, but There's the select all. Warrior. Alright, we're gonna go. Then that's just enough. Although, there's <laughs> so, so much army here. There's the longbows. I have mostly spearmen here this time. I love how King Henry didn't engage here either. They should be absolutely clapping every day. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to lose some more units here. Thing where you can't kill the king lords, so. though. I guess it sort of makes sense. Home, but rallied by their king, the English army forced a French surrender and put King Louis and his knights to flight. With the impromptu battle ending in resounding victory for the English, King Henry had secured his ancestral lands under the English crown.
I wish I could see a score at the end of each of these missions. Robert of Gloucester's forces approached Lincoln. Their task, to liberate the castle from King Stephen's siege. While behind Lincoln's walls, troops loyal to Matilda held the castle for the Empress. First, Robert's forces would stage an ambush to prevent enemy reinforcements from joining with King Stephen's army. Are you hungry? What will thou? Skiffer me head, we then just send the better in this session. The cursor is out of what we have to miss. Is it impossible to hunger them once they've been great? Here we have a blood on farm. We just follow in the head. My theory is that with the ambush. If you can engage Robert's the two half at the same shelter time, and lay in wait for uh, the you're in a, you can actually minimize damage. Doesn't seem entirely obvious that that is the case, but we'll find out. What will thou here with a blood on Baal? Because that's when the longbowmen are forced into a melee attack. I worked on finding it better. I have two units more as one than I did at the Robert first. defeated the first column of Stephen's reinforcement, but he knew more were on the way. They're so slow to get into position, it's ridiculous. I can't really get them into the two formations I wanted. Yeah. By so the time you arrive here, it's too late. What I want to do. Okay. Once they're up here. Force most of them into a melee attack, that'd be amazing. Okay, I think as long as we don't royally screw up the next one, we can go out. With more of Stephen's reinforcements eliminated, Robert was steadily undermining the siege. Was it? I think it was here that he ambushed from usually. Maybe to even justify doing it from both angles. That's gonna be true. That's. Oh, that's how you ungroup. <laughs> But I don't know how you completely ungroup once you've uh, once someone up completely ungroup. Oh shit, 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 shit. I see. Fuck. How are they seen? I don't understand how they were seen. If it was that group that was seen, I don't understand. So I accidentally understand. I should ground them. I think this is still fine though. Find out of it, won't we? 
Keep chasing them down. I seem to focus the weakest one, like they do in AV2. Okay, at least I don't know how to do the very beginning of this mission on hard. Robert's men decimated King Stephen's reinforcements and were poised to break the siege. Yeah, all 11 of them. As they're enforcing. Continuing the push towards Lincoln, Robert sent in a large company of reinforcements to aid his vanguard. To further weaken the siege, Robert would need to cut off Stephen's supplies. He targeted the nearby market town. These scouts are just scouts. I want cavalry. Why are they sticking me with infantry? I guess at least we have some archers to back them up now. That doesn't okay stop taking damage. Good to know that the AI still likes microing every last unit. Town in ruins, King Stephen's supplies began to dwindle. Robert received word that Welsh troops under Matilda's banner were en route to join forces with him. But King Stephen had the roads to Lincoln heavily guarded, and the route was not without risk, even for the hardy Welshman. Rendezvous. So basically, just join up. The time to ambush? Probs not. As long as that many. Actually, if we go through here. There we go. Nope. Okay, I currently can't go through them. They're gonna die. Making their way to Lincoln, Matilda's Welsh allies were ambushed by the King's soldiers. Robert's men would need to aid the Welsh if they wanted their help in breaking the siege. At least get the knights, Lorita, save their asses. I think at the back one of archers will uh, be fine, surely. Why are they getting wrecked by the spears, though? Ah, uh, because there's a mana armors mixed in. Uh, it looks like there's a couple more groups of green at least to help out a little bit. These ambush sites are so annoying. To chase the enemy the units in the... Matilda's allied troops made for the castle to lift the siege. 
and then you can't actually see what's going on properly. So now we're gonna break the CJ battery. I do like that when you select an allies unit so you can see what they actually have by just double like dragging over them. That's a feature that's not in AOE 2, at least not in uh, the multiplayer. You can do it when you're spectating. But it's a nice little tidbit. Broad feels very long. Forces spotted a large detachment of Stephen's soldiers guarding the castle gates. Oh, if they hope to liberate Lincoln, they would need to break the blockade and rout the army. I think we just let Green go in first because his units are less valuable than mine. Unless he doesn't want to. He definitely doesn't want to. That's nice. Okay, what we do here then is get them to go in first to get rid of those little spike thingies. Oh boy. I think we actually focus this. Uh... Can I get his out of that? Kind of disaster. How are these spearmen not dying faster? But they have all of the arrows in the world shooting at these spearmen. And yet they're still alive. Oh, they're all gonna die. <laughs> oh, I wanted the allies in first. The knights are more valuable than anything they are sending. They still still have some archers alive. I'm still trying to microcode with an AoE too. It's just there doesn't seem to be any value in microing right now. And maybe it's more valuable to hit the back ones because the other ones are shooting the front ones. But beyond that, Robert's forces scattered the king's army, leaving the gates to the castle unguarded. Enter link with all ten of your remaining units. Feels bad, man. Robert's men finally united with Lincoln's garrison. They could now use the castle to strengthen their army. <laughs> what army? The siege, they needed to destroy the enemy camps surrounding the castle. Wondering how much they're going to attack. I really don't want to have to go back through the ambush thing. Okay, put these on top. Oh, there's more army up here, okay. Intended win left, has the snow dormant. What shall each do? Fusli dande ne hurt us, no, never down. Quarrels, has the scomas are the camera. Sounds like they're casting a curse on someone. If you're happy that you build it or not. Uh, long women are great and all, but that's not what I'm looking for. Where are the three on gold? What need us be on done? What? This shoe up do they let? Okay, so we want to get food in a little bit faster, I think. That's really expensive for 
that much of a bonus though. Both of them are really insane. Uh, maybe go for the gold first. That's 400 gold for that as well. Quite a few of these and the early mana arms. I had more on the way, but apparently not. I really want a town center out here as well. <laughs> okay, AI is still derping quite a bit, lots of things. Please do send your mangan out into 3 million units. Oh boy, don't attack on them. That's, that could be ugly if it gets a good shot on. Uh, I should have had my units on the wall then. Damn, when they're on the wall, that's so much stronger. Versus when they're off the wall. Build that UTC. That's 500, but okay, I thought it was less than that. I'm guessing repairs are just as simple as. Uh, send the villager and repair that situation. I'm just gonna couple more hard and speed and just gonna have more of a melee presence. I feel like he's sitting one in by one. Okay, so it looks like the repairs are pretty quick at least. Uh, anything else? That one, do a bit more repairing. What 
stay this way or not. Ich will mir say that for that. Get some stables down. There we go. They must have more than one or two archery ranges. Much because it's just so awkward to see what's what. I need more crossbowmen. Also, probably need upgrades. Uh, that's not really much upgrades. Arsenal, balance projectiles, range damage. That's She's probably dying. Oh, no. Okay. Just alive. A couple of these could have been handy. Like, how much wood I have? Uh, food I have and almost no food. Uh, wood. But that'll change soon with me just spamming out some horsemen to help out here. Oh, that's ugly. I really hate the upgrade system in this game. Uh, upgrade system, the hockey system. Which then makes upgrading so much harder than it needs to be. Uh, you guys, yeah. Lots of horsemen and a few forefloors as well. I go and repair things. I think we're almost at the point where I can start attacking, but uh, F1, let's get the monk out to heal the units. Okay, now we've got a lot of wood floating so I can start putting more farms down. times today. I feel like I'm spamming units. Looks like I need more on food again. I 
Alright, get rid of the central camp now. Got a few more knights. Got a couple more of the spring holes. Hey, our central clamp is there. I know the siege style, that's weird. I took more wood than they currently do. Well, than they apparently do, I should probably say. This one's at least got a bit more challenge to it again. Like, other than the beginning being kind of dumb, which is probably the nicest way I can put it. The actual. this part of the mission. Got a nice. Level of intensity, to what I'd say. Not difficult is the right side of views, but it's at least better than quite a few of the other ones so far. Also, I love these. They're just like better scorpions. Granted, they're only a single target, I'm pretty sure. But that doesn't really bother me too much. I think Crossman have a slower rate of fire. Like, quite a bit, actually. Okay, send these in to help that side. It's actually so much harder to keep everything working. That select all barracks, select all. Uh, everything else. Because you have to individually click the building you want to produce out of, which. Uh, it's not great. An extra step. You have to keep thinking about every macro cycle you do. So it gets to a point where bothering with the with, uh, control groups is too much. Okay, I should be able to clear this pretty easily now. Oh, well, maybe not. That's a lot of army. Go try and lure them here. A battle at least. Those spring holds though. And they're actually winning the day. Wonder if uh, in competitive play these are actually balanced. I didn't really see them during the beta. Oh boy. I think I have just enough units here in general for that to be fine. I was looking a little bit ugly when they were dumping me, but... Wait, can you set up one for each individual one? The King's army was they can set up multiple areas, wow. They can even overlap. It seems like it could be abused. 
King Stephen was spotted, shielded by his men. To end the siege, Matilda's forces needed to capture Stephen and rout his army. Looks like they're gonna actually come here. Gotta regroup a little bit. Yeah, regroup. Oh, get all the archers in the on the high ground. Might easily just try and snipe those mangonels. They're probably the only actual threat. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> These are like uh, ancient sniper rifle type things. It's actually kind of insane how they work. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that one. Maybe we can lure the rest of them in. Oh no. They'll come in, they'll die, and I can go and finish it off. Attack animation is so slow. <laughs> I can imagine sieging a city that has these sorts of walls ready. This would be like the worst thing. It just end up being such a camp first. Especially if a Sip gets like a defensive bonus for those sorts of walls. <laughs> All for these, holy crap. Maybe it's like a Imperial Age thing, you just better see to that. These are the MVP of everything. Matilda's men closed in and finally captured King Stephen. That was a pretty good scenario though. Uh, I think the initial level design with the ambush is poor, but the rest of the level design was actually quite good. Matilda's forces had won the battle at Lincoln. But the fight for the crown was not over yet. Jarring. Inside the strong stone walls of the castle at Wallingford, Matilda's men held firm against a brutal siege by forces loyal to King Stephen. King Stephen's army had constructed a fortified perimeter outside the castle, trapping Matilda's men inside. However, reinforcements were on the way from Matilda's son, Henry. Her forces needed to hold the walls until they arrived. Probably to even use army here. Oh, wait, is a second? There is another town. What? That's so nice. This is the town center essentially, but because it's not a town center, I can't cycle to it. Game is finding many ways to bring frustration in that kind of manner. It's not very clear what, uh, how to get from A to B. Okay, we want to start making these as well. Uh, I want that as well. Get two of these spring olds. Get the spring old in placement. Can this be researched at the same time? I think it can be. Uh, 
This overcue in that one quite a bit. And then we can soon. Hoping to claim Wallingford, King Stephen's siege forces launched a renewed attack on the castle. Yeah. I'm not really looking to do damage to buildings here for the most part. I want veteran longbow. I think. I'm not sure how much of an upgrade veteran longbow actually is. But seeing as it's the majority of my army currently. Got the spring order thingy. Not really find anything except for stone. I kind of want a second key. Well, I wish I'd seen it a little bit earlier. I might have actually been able to stop that. No, 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 not in the slide. Horseman. Got a veteran. Got quite a few of these. Keep repairing. Hoping to crack the mighty stone walls of Wallingford. King Stephen's forces Please launched attack. another attack. Okay, that'll be that group. This one's a lot harder to deal with than what I found. Matilda's forces oh. repelled the attack. Yeah. And held the castle. Wait, horses hanging up here as well? That's interesting. <laughs> Get that. I think that'll help quite a bit in the long run. Thing is that the upgrades for so many of these things are like for the gold is really expensive. It's not like a little expensive. It's super, super expensive. Matilda's forces held firm against the attack, cutting down the enemy soldiers. One fifty one. Any more on wood now? Wait, where's my metal castles? Oh. What is it with these units? I right click to attack and they will not. King Stephen's forces breached the wall and pushed into one of 
Matilda's men needed to repel the enemy before the castle fell and their cause was lost. They ain't mangonels. I think that's becoming quite evident. Enemy stable. I'm gonna go out this way anyway. Hard for them to attack the, that area. Oh my god, the boar is so strong, I forget about that. Rip one <laughs> That's not that feeling when it's not embarrassing to lose bills to four. Why is it this strong? Like, did someone feel bad for the wars in AOE 2 and was just like, you know what? It's uh, time for the wars to run. Fuck, are these out of position again? How do I a activate network castles? Or is that just a passive? Oh shit, that's my entire army. Where's the archery rangers? Matilda's forces received word that Henry's troops were getting closer to Wallingford. Goodness is that the keep should be able to slowly finish these off. Could tip the scales in their favor. What needeth beyond the passion at Darlar? Stare at Uta every chance. Hold it at Ulta. If he'll have passion at Darlar, if he'll do that loop, what needeth beyond the Sergeant? You seem to have no. Uh, auto targeting logic. Yeah, I think this time I just want to try and sneak the army towards me with as minimal losses as possible. Save is so jarring. At last, Henry's reinforcements approached Wallingford. United under Matilda's banner. They go straight through here. No, it's not an ambush for us. It's just the regular for us. Eco is sort of sorted. Feel like the melee path in this game might be worse than AV2. Which, uh, it's kind of saying something. Well, I think with the AoE 2, the melee pathing has significantly improved since release. So I'm imagining that the melee pathing here will improve too over time. Oh, 
Much easier to play this game uh, when you're in this sort of more defensive position. Okay, we can now get pretty much everything I need to get. Oh shit. These are very much not helping. Oh, I'm probably losing this fight as well. Fine. And we'll just, once this is down, we're just gonna bone wall over it. Basically everything at this point now. Oh no, I'm out of gold. Just to finish the mission. Oh, that's lovely. Henry and Matilda's forces struck out at the besieging army, weakening the enemy's hold on Wallingford's perimeter. At least that's clear. Oh no, I kind of needed these. Why did these not auto attack? I think it's that much to ask. They have three sables? I thought I had more. Guessing that's all military, yeah. That's why I have more military than this, though. Yeah, I want to be really careful with spending gold right now. I think that's a market that I could have potentially get resources from, but uh, I think it's easy. I just have to sell food and a bit of wood as needed. Attack. Oh, it's gonna come from the wall, which is even worse. Exciting. What I'm learning here is that siege towers aren't strong in this game. Similar to AW2, they're not strong, they're just freaking in the way. Oh, 
not like there's any friendly fire type damage on this. Or buildings. What other upgrades can I get? Blacksmith. Oh, so I've got everything from them then? Yeah, apparently I have everything. I get a couple more mangonels. I have to help push those areas. They have absolutely zero desire to attack on their own accord, and I don't understand it. Oh, that's out of bounds, trees. Looks like we have to chop more of these ones out here. <laughs> Might even run out of wood at this rate. Yeah, at least that's dealt with. Oh, I needed these stables so I can produce faster. At least that's dealt with. That's so annoying. Oh, there's a mangonel. Or springles? Okay. Strike! Kill! Yeah, I feel like we're getting decent army numbers now. Even if it's mostly crappy army. so many villagers got involved, but that happened. And now attack move works with these. Slides go really out of position. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose this entire army. How are they so damn tanky? To sell more resources to get more gold. Where's the rangers? I lost every single siege weapon. the yellow glow around them. Do they have their own little healing thing going? Oh my god, there's so much more army. Hey, where's the market again? I get another couple of... 500 for one? Oh. I think maybe I'm missing rams. I think that's the thing here. Maybe some hardened spearmen will help. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's hopcap apparently. There's nothing in these, they're just running them off. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, do they have su super large amounts of melee? Yeah, that's at least, I think we got there. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> okay, just go and destroy this outpost. I built my own outpost, so I wonder if I get a bonus. Okay. The enemy line wavered as Matilda's forces cut down the besieging army. Clearing another section of the blockade. Oh no, I kind of needed that. Well, shit, that happened. <laughs> See how much it says minimal damage the uh, building, but get rid of the their own. Ones of these. This is gonna be one of those games where I just have to clear them by using so many units. Yeah, it's quite minimal damage to buildings. Why are they attacking a wall? Okay, I think... Don't I jinx it? I think this is done now. <laughs> jinxing it, jinxing it, jinxing it. How many units have died for the purposes of this? Not that I'd be able to see how many have actually died because you don't get an end of uh, game thing. I didn't even realize there was this little treasure chest there. Uh, Please kill it. Hey, okay, good. Deal with the second attack there. I don't think I can deal with the third. Can you imagine just having the entire army wiped out by two mangonels? Feels AV2, man. <laughs> Probably good to put a couple more spearmen in the mix. These are not scorpions, are great. Are just as campy in this game as they are in AV2. I 
I got a little bit of gold. I don't think they say that they get matters too much unless they have uh, a second part to this mission. It's possible. I'm not getting the feeling there's more to this mission though. How long this one, this part of it already took. Most of the missions have capped out before half an hour. Oh boy. Matilda's forces overwhelmed the enemy and cleared the castle's perimeter. Ah, oh, there is more. Of course, there's more. I'm all here now. Just let those ones be forward. Send all the archers back. <laughs> They're actually really fast. Like, the fact that like, cavalry are struggling to keep up with them might be saying something about these units. Is that something to besiege? Oh, they can go up here when. Okay, that's new knowledge. I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Didn't think of it though. I was expecting the final wave to be way more uh, foreboding than this. This is relatively easy. I don't even get to see the rest of the map. That's a that's kind of disappointing. The joint forces of Matilda and Henry had thwarted King Stephen's siege of the strategic castle at Wallingford. After over a decade of conflict, Matilda's claim to the throne was still alive. I guess it is slightly touched on in the Saracen campaign in AOE 2 and here it kind of glosses over it. Asked to invade by the rebel barons. Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defenses, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. I was kind of hoping that I'd be the one invading the castle rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. I guess the moment we'll just make those. Let's see what so this is the King's Palace, the one that doesn't come up if you cycle TC. You is there gold? Zero gold? Oh boy. That's not gonna be pretty. Alright, next one over here. I don't believe there's always a revive leader thing here when um but you just don't have a leader in some of these missions. I don't think normally getting eco grades is super important. Here I'm not getting the film that that's gonna be the case as much. I think a miracle to win this, I think. 
place first time. I guess it is uh, at least somewhat tiered by lots of things in terms of the number of attacks you get. Those crossbows are molester, so they're basically upgrading crossbows. Is that all the wood I have? <laughs> wow, well, okay. It's gonna be interesting, I'll say that much. We might end up having to use villagers to help out in the defense. Okay, let's get that. While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. Okay. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot known as Willikin of the Weald began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. Step up to it, Arwaymen. Assyria, draft they, Arwaymen. Al Suiza, yes. Yeah, from Dover, where's Dover? Yeah, okay. Step up to it, Arwaymen. What need us be on Don? Where am I meant to trade with? I guess it's over there. It would definitely be necessary. Do I see villagers here? Okay. No, 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 no not that. I think. Wait, it was that one, right? <laughs> the, I think the building clarity here. Could, Definitely be improved. Oh, is it? That it? I get four. Yeah. There are other markets. Well, I really need wood. I do have a decent amount of food now. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. With longbows? Yeah. Like one additional. Yeah, right to don't get anything haste. Dress it gal on fully end the hestas. There a market here as well. I think it's only the one market. Step up to it, Arwayman. Step up. I think I'm worried about is that they're gonna end up sending units to kill the trade. I don't know how many more villages I can justify them making that long term. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. That's at least something. Did I get anything else for that? Yeah, it looks like I only get the bonus. Trade from it. Nothing else. Can I sneak out? But I think it's possible. Okay, 
Really? I lost one so far. Uh, one. Okay, I could definitely do with getting that. I don't think we're gonna stop that one. That's helpful. Yeah, that's not helpful. So I think we fuck, fuck, fuck. We sneak through here. Possible. What's here? Uh, I think we can make a couple of extra traders. Oh, well, that might be some extra forces I can use. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Oh good, they even get to heal a little bit, that's nice. Alright, see if we can sneak through here. Five minutes until the next attack. Uh. Oh, they go back to the other side as well. Oh, okay, they're all coming one side. Alright, let's try and get over here with this army. Increase the movement a little bit. Where's the stable? Yeah, with the ma. I would convert using him, but it doesn't seem like that's an option. Okay, we'll let them come in. Uh, I think it's time to place a second. E. Them here. I've been doing that as well. Oh, let's go. I think this makes it significantly easier. Oh, whoops. Start fighting out. It's gonna take a long time to reload the oh, blasters. Okay, let's get another one of those. They get stable.
Let's have some food to use. I think I need to actually play a uh, thing to train longbowmen down there as well. Yeah, start selling food. Buy a little whoops. Okay, so that's something back here. Here is that not? Yeah, they're attacking again. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. They still have some level of Willikin's ambush force. The enemy has been greatly weakened. spotted a group of English fighters engaged in battle with the enemy and rushed to their aid. That will be helpful. Oh, shit. That's gonna be ugly. Is that a mangonel? Oh, it's a mangonel. Focus it down. Okay, just need army. Uh, stuck getting that. Range down here. We also have another with an extra range at home as well, but I think with the two keeps it might be okay. Okay. Without that extra siege is actually insanely easier. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcement. Oh, there's another mining. There's another stone pile there. Maybe I should use gold. I just need extra units here. Only having four wood outside sucks. Of course, we're going up this way first. Okay, well, upgrades. Ranged armor. Do I damage first? I wonder if I can... I don't really care about the horse, I'm thinking it's free trying them really easily. Oh, not sure I have enough. To do with... 
a little more wood, so I might buy a little bit more. I kind of forgot about this, the bonus that they have. Oh, these are, I didn't even realize these ones are on wood. I think I put them on wood earlier before I realized I couldn't actually get anything else there. Shit. Might not be able to stop all of those. I don't know if I got much out of that to be honest. Probably didn't. <laughs> oh, that's not even close to being done yet. Even though I ended up putting them. Okay. Ryan, see if we can cut them off here. Now we're looking for more upgrades. I think where I'm standing them doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Okay, they're almost in position. The reinforcements might just not make it in time. Okay, we put these up. Shit. That's the reinforcements I needed. Should be sort of fine. needed those. So the crossbowmen that will learn how we kill these. I like him, he's like Robin Hood. Oh no! That's the other reinforcements I was sending. Should be oh my god, there's another army. Come on. This definitely feels a little bit more exciting though so far. It is all spearmen. I think I'm about to lose all of those. Yeah, there's too many. Yeah, 
Who gets one for like Where's the army? I was making. Aggressive for Hessex. Spoiler been that way, man. Yahweh sewers they had. Nothing protecting it. And he Yo, gets through that pretty quick. Okay. <laughs> then the AI might have bucked out a little bit here. Gonna send these in. Some French reinforcements made it to their siege camp. Oh, they actually made it through. Numbers to their next attack on the castle. That's also. Need way more from here. At least now I'm starting to float some wood so I can actually put extra buildings down. Willikens archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. Right, that's really low actually. I'll actually put one of those on these. Oh, I thought I was getting rid of one of those. Shit. Probably should have sent the archers in at that point though. I thought that I would do more. Oh fuck, that one's going numb. Let's rebuild that. That one might make it. I did send a villager to go fix it up. Recently. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. I think we basically won this one. rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Oh, they didn't even reinforce on Sakaia. Okay, my outside force might actually be stronger than my inside force at this point. Keep using Q because that's patrol in AOE 2. Let's see if there's any way of breaking out of this area. There's actually gold I could have gotten there, but you need a decent sized army to actually clean that, I think. Okay, so we're gonna get through here. Makes you almost wish that you could uh, 
finish the mission a bit quicker now. See if it's working. That foot needed. Barita. Yeah, yeah. Tip. Tender, Freckers. Foliente, Hector. Fuse, Tolkien. Beres, Tolkien. Where makes the camp? Uh, what upgrades am I missing? Pretty much everything, I guess. But it's so hard to actually remember where all the upgrades come from. This is going fine. As fine as it needs to, anyway. These men are not going to do much here. I'm actually kind of opening up. I think that's sorry, that's what you're meant to do, but pull them back a little bit. Select them start to work. It's quite a slow heal. Uh, alt seems to move it so much. Back to the perspective I had it before. There's an outpost. Anything else? Is there? Time to go across. I think I'm even meant to really break free in this scenario. But it's working great for me. Oh, whoops. Got there if I attack move to the arch instead we're gonna die. Ah, alt. I hate that alt is uh, rotate. I wish I could disable it. Maybe there is a way. Love how you have to put a little marking above it that says siege weapon. Attack! Oh, they can't make patrol on Q. Patrol doesn't exist in the same way. At this point, I'm actually going to just make Knights have some leftover gold. Might as well have some nicer units. Just torn the main base, why don't I? I actually can sort of do it. Quite 
Um, oh, in let's go. Let's see what, if we can actually brave them. Wonder if there's an achievement for actually getting rid of the town center here. Oh, it's an optional mission. Wish I had known about it sooner. Garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. Where's all, is that all the seeds they have? Okay, it's not too bad. It's like worse than the usual Hussar versus uh, Knights of Cavalier. I wish I made a little bit more trade though. I think I'm more gold units. Seems to be something stopping it from being completed. Go back in there. We go. Guess that's the mission ended. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikin's fearless archers, England remains... The archers look so derpy here. <laughs> Looks like they're landing in the air again and getting stuck. Yeah, it's King John's men arrived at the outskirts of Rochester, set to retake the castle and drive out the rebel barons within. But Rochester was a formidable fortress that protected the route to London, and the rebel barons were prepared to lay down their lives to hold it. Before King John's men could hope to retake the castle, they would need to reinforce their position by capturing the village of Chatham. Oh, that scout's very dead. For the most part, it just looks like uh, crossbowmen are better than longbowmen. The most intents and purposes. 
Minus the range bonus. The King's men secured Chatham and began preparing for an arduous siege. Rochester's keep was protected by strong stone walls. The King's army would need mighty siege weapons to break through. Uh, there we go. Why is it auto saving at this point? It's like something special happened. I think these caps this right. Okay, I think future what's gonna go to gold now. Well I do also want to make sure that I'm getting plenty of bombs down as I go. Get rid of the damn thing. I already did it. Get rid of the tilt. -tilt. I wonder if that's a return to default view. Reset, there we go. Yeah, I should almost be able to place another TC. Is Imperial Age breachable here? Yeah, it is, okay. Makes sense, because it's gonna be a massive siege. King John's forces were struck by a raiding group of rebels sallying from the castle. I don't really understand Monk's just being here to heal. Not a whole lot else, but I kind of prefer it to the usual conversion mechanics. Although I've seen some of the conversion mechanics. I'm not a big fan of those either. Should be like different extra tasks or something, right? Surely. I guess you're meant to make a new scout or something. Okay, new town center. Get a good boom going. Okay, then what makes a little market? Nice, we can also get another sacred site. Do the sacred sites actually give you anything? I know they're a victory condition normally. Or a possible victory condition. Is there an auto scout feature in this game? I want to know. <laughs> It was pretty controversial in AoE 2, but I honestly like having auto scout. I am lazy. <laughs> like, I always use scouting up until a certain point. If I still have that auto scout alive, I will use auto scout. No, what a scout. Okay, just do that with Scout then. 
Gonna have so many sheep following at the end of all this. Yeah, looks like I can click on. What do I want to build? I kinda want Berkshire Palace. I can produce my own units. Don't need help with that. Uh, one more town center. I am starting to run out of stone access. I don't really want to buy one. Oh, look at all the sheep! Okay, the monk can get the relic. And drop it. Do I even have the building to drop it into monastery? 150. Oh, why are they inside? One of them took out of the woods. Well, this is one of the more classic boom and win missions. We can get a uh, mining camp here. Oh, look at all the sheep! Let's go. <laughs> I don't even think I'll eat them, it just exists now. the maximum number of relics you can place in. <laughs> More sheep, let's go. Sheep looks so happy as well. The university is not in age of use of being in. The monks seem to move a lot faster in this game. Wow, 100 per minute. Okay, so it's pretty wrong actually. More housing would be nice. We really need the stone upgrade because I'm not really gathering stone. I need two sheep. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Um, how do I garrison? Yeah. That scout's so dead. Let's attack back. Jeez. Oh, they're men at arms. I thought they were spearmen. I was wondering why they were surviving for so long. That one's a spearman. I need some trebuchets. Get forts of trebuchet. University, this is more similar to AOE one's diversity. <laughs> Need to figure out how to select all TCs, hotkey. That would be very helpful in this situation. Each farm enclosure. Also, each farm. Not much as farm enclosure, but each farm for start. Ah, uh, this one's got quite a few feet already. This is so overwhelming. Yeah, I need less on wood and more on food. There needs to be a way of cycling between the grids if they're going to have this system. Very frustrating, currently. Uh, when you make a mistake, you have to click away from whatever you were doing. Uh, I also needed to do other upgrades. Uh, send those here. Rochester's outer wall crumbled to King John's men, and they descended on them. Yeah, I need more food. Quite a bit more food, actually.
university. So I need that. That could be helpful at some point. That'd be helpful as well. I'm in fine way to build a mill right now. Let's get those ones in. Proving once again that horses are the best. Start training some more of these. Just moving the artillery. The sand of the arc is ready. That's where we are. Some other upgrades, I'm sure. That part won't get old very soon. Need more buildings is the problem. Um, maybe get a couple of these to help do this position a little bit better. I thought that was happening. Send the army back for the moment. That's a play. That's quite a bit out there as well. Center, I say a bit more forward because that's where we're focusing. Yeah, here are these, I guess. Oh. oh, I forgot I wasn't actually training anything else after that. I think I lost like 10, 15, 20 mils just then. I wasn't expecting the AI to actually counterattack here, but that was a nice little touch. Hey, push forwards. Hester's 
coming. Both one. Ali set. Ready for Hestus. New half in Hestus coming on off. Okay, out to Armes. I don't know why that's so far in, but we'll take all well, they can be useful like that, I guess. Uh, let's do that. I think as long as I have some sort of melee meat shield, this map is fine. Well, I think with that amount of gold, it's looking more like uh, just making gold units now. I think I should build a fortress somewhere, a bit more defensively. I like you getting stuck. Oh, I didn't even realize it was one of those though. Both are very easy to miss. I can deal with that finally. much gold left anyway but I still want it. I think I should probably make more siege. Like usually more traps is like on the slightly excessive end so I didn't want to not overdo it but he was be pushing pretty slow. Oh okay that's nice. Look at that. If the game there's also way more upgrades to get. That'd be nice. Cool. That'd be good. And that. Uh, charge damage. I didn't even realize there was charge damage to be honest. There's so many uh, different things to keep the top of. Okay, need to start reinforcing the archers as well. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Maniacal laughing. Love it. some more of these off of wood. Seems like wood is one of those it's similar to AV2 but the, it just it just keeps accumulating so quickly. They have a pretty unstoppable army here now though. Back to 
Okay, I don't know why. I, I, attack move. But... They seem to want to die. Okay, let's pull these back a little bit. How many of those are being annoying? At least the trebuchet is now auto fire on other targets. was laid bare for the taking. These traps are insane. Uh, make a scout to go over there. Not that I'm really using any more scouting information, but it'll be nice to see more of the map. Especially because I can't see the map after the game ends. I don't want to see what could have been. So many warships. King John's men came to St. Margaret's Monastery. Although the monks would not take sides, they would provide medical care for wounded soldiers. The local market was also open to trade with Chatham. Ah, over there. That would have been nice to have found a little bit earlier. I would have been able to get some trade going. I do have those relics, so they. The relics in this game seem to be really strong. Like, way stronger than AV2. This is less of a resource trickle and more of a actual villagers collecting resources scenario. How am I still floating so much wood? Show them how religious we are. <laughs> Do sacred sites actually give you anything other than flexing points in this scenario? Uh, where's the monastery? immense people in there as well. Did I miss anything? Sure, that could might be useful. Unlikely, but I think I have everything I could get pretty much. I wish that when you got rid of the wall piece I just fell off. It feels so fitting. I know that they sort of stagger off, but like, they fell off and, you know, died. <laughs> this is how it feels like it should go. Let 
So that gold income, 1400, I have zero on gold right now. I think the sacred sites must do something. Oh, I asked for I got a unique tech that made it so that I was generating gold with the farm. So I've begun the vineyards. Okay, it's really cute. British are going to be absolutely bomb because if that's in the main game, it'll just be part of the scenario. Like, I have so much gold income. I'm still actually getting a little stone from the relics, but the looks of things. It doesn't seem to be coming in though. Oh no, okay, it comes in one pop, uh, chunk. Not a, uh, like the relics where it just instantly comes in as you go. I like the Murph arms. Oh, GG. That's a pretty nice dramatic. Fell at the hands of the king's army, securing both the castle and the route to London. While the fight for England raged on, a desperate King John clung to the throne. Troops loyal to the king held the castle at Lincoln, while outside, rebels controlled the city. The defenders had to hold the castle until reinforcements arrived, under the command of the king's knight, William Marshall. Feels like a bit of a theme, this campaign. I don't even get... Oh boy. I can't even stop an eco. Town centre? Don't. Do we have a market? I take that as a no. Uh, I guess next to Archie range. I don't want to waste melee units in these fights. So it's not super long. I don't really build more buildings, I really need uh, to keep. Resources for other things. Can we get a couple of heavy cavalry? Alright, that'll come pretty quick to that. Which I think this aside needs to do something though. Kind of annoying that uh, I can't build any of these other buildings without a town centre. I 
That's the last of my resources. I imagine there'll be a way of getting more resources later. If not, that'd be kind of sad. Oh, over here. Most of the uh, units we got by the time we get there. I love the little uh, boiling oil animation there. Sufficient. Oh, you need wood to rip. Why you need wood to repair a stone wall? What? Why is that a thing? That's so bizarre. Well, I'm gonna put them on the tree, even though I know that I can't drop it off anywhere. To see if something happens. Down here. I'm guessing that's what we get after the initial defense. Do I find out you want to spend as little as possible on the defense? Because you don't get to keep anything here. Alright, send them all into that. Don't really want me to get any big mangonel shots so. Hold that. You know what, I'll shoot the sending zone. Oh, there's... Wait, no. Okay, I'm able to drop off wood. There's a lumber camp right there. Oh my god, I wish I'd seen that. There's so much damage from afar, it's insane. Here comes the customary save. At last, the king's Is that it? Marshal arrived with his forces. While a hard battle remained, there was now hope for the young king's army. In order to liberate the city surrounding the castle, William Marshall commanded the king's men to destroy the military buildings belonging to the rebels. William Marshall's forces were welcomed in Stow, a nearby town loyal to the king. Prepare, please. Thank you very much. That's the goal. We need more gold. Uh, I think it's time to come off the wall. Alright, 
two military buildings down. I have no idea what I just said. The king's men tore through the rebel fortifications, diminishing the enemy's military presence. That's out the center side. I think I'd be killing that. That's the other one, so there's one back there, that's why. Okay, put them all together. The castle now faced a new attack <laughs> from the rebels' French allies. Uh, should be fine with the number of tiles we got over there. Not wearing them anyway. Rip. That's food. Food will do too, I guess. If the king's men hope to lift the French siege, they would need to destroy the enemy forts on the outskirts of Lincoln. Uh, you know what? Oh, clutch. Clutch. That villager needs a brace. This little thing. I got it destroyed. Let's finish these off. I don't really want to kill the town center, I think. The king's army had almost regained control of the city. I'm sure that, that having that alignment like, could have actually used that. Try and see if we can save it. The king's army raised the last of the rebels' military buildings, but the French siege continued. Now watch it turn to blue, and then watch me lose. Maybe not. Okay. I feel so sad now. Uh, I could have got a second TC whilst that was happening. That would have been much more efficient. Definitely do with some more economy. Here is probably easier to get to than that. I think I should be getting some resources out of this. I don't need the scout actually. What need is for your job? I pray they're gonna attack me again.
Oh, oh that's that stone. That would be nice, actually. Uh, let's put that there. Imperial Edge. I don't want to protect here. Alright, see what's out for an RL. Okay, it's going to clear that with the horseman. I want to start building more building. Uh, I don't have an arsenal. I need way more on wood now. There's the scout okay. Back to scouting you go. Need so much gold. Uh, okay. Gold, that one, that one. I think it's fine just to kind of set his blood a little bit, get a bit more scouting them. Out here, it's just villagers. Oh, that's why you patrol. I want another 2 see. Uh, market. Let's buy a bit of stone. Sell quite a bit of food. And um, place a new 2 see down here. Looks like there is another outpost out there. Uh. I don't want that. Uh, do you want that? But I can't afford it. Want to see what they have down here? Well, I think there's a better place I can place this. Yeah, and then it's on the, the gold and the woodland. I need a scout to go with these because there's a uh, lot of forest terrain. So we'll build a scout from here. Okay. Why do I still have so little wood actually? I feel like I should be at good amounts of wood by now. Oh, there's actually a relic as well we could be thinking of getting up. Oh, fuck, that's actually quite a bit of army. I don't have anything here protecting at the moment. Luckily, this should be able to clear it. Not really anything that important here. Them to kill. Intendant. 
Oh, actually, no, no. Scout first. I didn't repair that. Let's get another villager. I'll repair this. I wish there was a. Like, because it's very hard to tell what needs repairing in this game. Wish there was a way of making it a little bit easier to see what needs repairing. that as well. We will want to mix in some of those at some point as well. Okay, that should be good farm amounts at the moment. Can I just frame with enemy mark? I suppose there's no time that present to try. Uh, get that. And that. Crabuches are expensive. And I can put it more on gold. Well, I can be able to siege marshal down here rather than reinforcing it. Uh, siege marshal, there we go. I'm pretty sure I can build trebuchets out of them. And then university. And once. Get some more horsemen, seeing as that was all I can afford. Uh, uh, let them heal up a little bit. I have no idea how to get through this, so let's start working it out. That's fine, I just wanted to see how much more they had there. Yeah, it's a decent amount. I think we're going to need that gold pile though. Is there no way through that? Oh, the quite wait. How the hell do I get through? So some forests you can go through, others you really can't, and it's not entirely obvious which ones you can and which ones you can't. I don't want to get out of this. For the trap. Okay, there we go. Well, that's kind of annoying. I thought it was going to be way more well defended. The 
King's men uncovered one of the French forces siege camps near Lincoln. Well, these are just doing. Honestly, I don't think he's charging in. Oh, fuck. Uh, Garrison is down. Wait, can I put five in here? How much of a defensive building is that? Should have made a defensive building there. Didn't think that that, that would be an area of contention, to be honest. Anywhere for more than like half a second. That's just good old RTS for you. Leave anywhere for a second and you've lost half your army. Yep, building. How has that not gone yet? Rusty came in a minute. Well, they're still not dead. Holy crap! They're not Arbalest, as the Arbalest Shia. <laughs> yeah, it's build a keep here. I don't remember what was that. Was that a monastery? I think it was. Is that transport? Yeah, I don't need transports. Yeah, that's what they've basically done, and now we just need to go to the second one. through the French fort, weakening the enemy siege. That's one down, more to go. Our next target. Uh, 
plenty of a meat shield this time. What other upgrades are we missing? That'll be useful later on. That'll be useful in general. It's so much, it would be so much easier just to have this all. Uh, her building. I don't even have any max at the moment, it's all defensive units. Not defensive units, uh, not gold units. <laughs> Too hard to finish this next, but now that I've got a plenty of army, uh, we'll just make knights. So many of these little outposts. I also hate that you can't see it's actually firing at you. On the hill. Hey, get it? Maybe from a battle realism perspective, maybe that's the way it actually would have looked. But it doesn't. Uh, it's kind of frustrating from a gameplay perspective. Oh, uh, so that gold gone. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Brutal. I definitely need that extra army. Life to come and kill the freaking thing. Oh my god, they're gonna die. <laughs> I don't know why they weren't going for the thing, and I told them to. I need to reinforce the options at some point as well. Although, well, this is the end of the mission that's uh, done basically. I also wish it wouldn't jump back every time. Like, <laughs> in between the middle of all of those areas. It's not, it's not a very useful area to look at. I 
That should be it. We'll see if there's an extra part to this mission after this. I don't think there is looking at that. Destroy walls. <laughs> William Marshall and Nicola de la Haye had saved the city, and with it, the kingdom. I think that's the end? We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Good campaign overall though. Definitely enjoy that.